here are the basics of mapping your characters created in Midjourney to get consistent character recreations in different images. First, we'll need to create a character sheet. Turn on remix mode. I'll be using Niji version 5, although that's not necessary. You don't need to use Niji mode for this. Now, let's generate some full body shots. I'll use a prompt full body turnaround him, light blue hair. I use him to get a male gendered character. Think of this like a character concept sheet. It's important that you get a variety of poses, especially a back view and a front view. Also, you'll want to make sure you have a white background for your character sheet. Now let's generate a face. I'll use a prompt him, light blue hair. After a few generations, I found one I like, so now I merge his face with our full body shots by right click, copy link. Then use the very subtle and very strong buttons to insert the face into the full body shots. Since we're in remix mode, clicking on the very subtle button will bring up a prompt. Now just paste your copied face image link into the prompt and submit. Very Subtle keeps most of the pose intact and adds the facial features onto the full body turnarounds. Very Strong gets rid of most of the poses since it tries to blend the face image with the character concepts instead of just remixing the face onto the poses. Now to create a basic character sheet, I'm going to open up Microsoft Paint and copy and paste the image of the boy's face and his full body shots into the file. Any equivalent software like Photoshop or PhotoP will work just fine. Our character sheet holds the building blocks for Midjourney to map into other scenarios and images that we want to generate. With just a basic character sheet, we can start mapping our character into images through remixing. First in MS Paint, we'll use the select tool to crop out the face and individual poses of our character. Click and drag the select tool over the face copy it, and then paste it into Midjourney. Repeat this with the full body turnarounds. If the poses don't fit neatly into the square selection tool, you can always use a freeform selection to draw a boundary around the pose. We need the individual poses because if we use a character sheet instead of individual poses as references, Midjourney will try to recreate the character sheet instead of just mapping our character. Enter the images into Midjourney, copy each image link, and then enter them into a notepad somewhere. I'll use Google Docs. These four image links will be the references for building our character. You can always generate more poses and image links if you want, but four is good enough for a basic demo. To start mapping, let's try something simple, like a boy at a supermarket. We'll prompt for, at a supermarket, him, light blue hair, white hoodie, to make it as similar to our character sheet as possible. Now using the very strong button, copy and paste our character image links from the Google Docs into the prompt, then submit. This will map our character into the image. You may need to redo this process a couple of times to get a mapping that you're fully satisfied with. The face and hairstyle match a character sheet and the hoodie is white on top and fades into light blue. Sometimes you get black bars on the sides of your remixed images, since our character references have a vertical aspect ratio. To get rid of this, just use a custom zoom button with a zoom factor of 1 and this usually will fill in the black bars for you. Here are some more results of our character mapping done using the same method of generating an image then using a very strong feature to remix our character references into the image. If you're wondering why we don't just directly copy and paste image links into the Midjourney prompt, it's because doing so doesn't actually map our character well. Midjourney will try to blend the images together but add its own twist. So you can see that the clothing attire and the facial features don't actually match our character sheet as well as if we just remix them in using a very strong button. One issue with this method is that the character reference poses all have white backgrounds, so in the remixed images, the silhouette around the character will also be white. As far as I know, there's not a great way to solve this without additional software like Photoshop. However, if you want to just map the face of your character, you can copy the image link that corresponds to your character's face. Use the very subtle button and then paste the link into the prompt. This will map your face into the image, although it might take a couple of tries to get it right. Thanks to Victor Gnarly's Character Continuity Discord Livestream for inspiring this video. Character mapping isn't a solved problem in Midjourney, but if you subscribe, I'll keep you updated on any new features or tips that make it easier.